I'm Brent Waters. I'm a distinguished scientist with NTT Research in the CIS Laboratory. CIS, it stands for Cryptography and Information Security. We have a real commitment to becoming an elite lab. We're building a team. Right now we're in the phase of ramping up and my job is to be able to bring the top talent in. So right now, there's a huge world, a lot of people storing information. Sometimes intentionally, like when I'm typing an email, other times it could be information where I just walk by a camera and things are stored about me, or when I'm using my phone, the GPS information is logged. So there's just so much more information generated now than let's say 20 years ago. Really the challenge is how can we balance utility and being able to keep it secure. So I've been pushing forward an agenda of functional encryption, which is I can give you a private key that essentially lets you learn a function, what you need to know about the data. So I can give you a private key which tells you is it spam or not, or is it an urgent situation or not. And it'll tell you yes or no, but not actually let you see all the core data itself. And I think what we're doing is really rethinking what encryption is, and that now it's not necessarily all or nothing, that you have a private key that can tell you some things about the data and not other things. And you can even do funkier or kind of um, some weirder things like where I could encrypt something, not to a key, but to encrypt it, let's say even to a mathematical problem that if you solve this problem, then you get to learn this information. I think in the long term, what it does is it gives a user who wants their data to be secure more tools in order to do it. And if you think about all the information when you're doing all these activities and how you would feel if it got revealed, that, that lets you know about why cryptography is important.